Hi, thanks so much for being here. Welcome or welcome back. So this video is more of a sort of catch up or update on how my planners are going, what I've been doing lately, what I'm using again, all the good things in terms of my planning system, my notebooks and all the good things. So if you're interested, I hope you stick around. I wanted to do a flip through sort of video, but also kind of chat with you about things that I'm doing and why I'm doing those and I don't know, just chat. Starting with my planners, I'm, I'm just going to go through the pages. This is the... Um, this is a leather cover that I got two years ago, I believe, in Amazon, under Amazon Handmade. I don't think it is this necessarily handmade. I don't think it is, but it is a beautiful cover. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but it is, shows the usage very well. It is a small sort of cover. Um, I'm thinking that it was meant to be a wallet. It just happened to fit the, the weeks. So, yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I love it. Um, as you can see, I've been using it. I used it, I, I think, throughout the year on 2022, part of 2023, and now in 2024, I'm back using it to hold my weeks and a an insert from, not an insert, but a booklet from Sterling Ink. So I have those two in here. I don't know if you can tell that, but they're in there. There's, I'm just holding it with a, one of those Travelers Company ribbons. And um, the system works great because this is a very compact cover and I have the regular weeks and the booklet and it, they just fit snugly, I guess, but because I do have all the things in here in those pockets, but they do fit in. Um, I love having this combination here. So um, I guess that if this was my, my one and only, it would have everything that I need. It has the planner that I need to kind of keep my life together. And then it has my extra booklet that I've been using for um, um, my body and my journey in terms of fitness and stuff like that. So I have a little bit of notes about recipes. Um, I have, what's this? Um, a 21 day challenge that I want to begin. I'm thinking I'm going to begin on the 1st of May just because it's the 1st and see how that goes. It's sort of like a, what I've been doing, but more... Um, more detailed, I guess, on things, what to do. And then I also have some ideas for breakfast and um, snacks, actually everything. So I have breakfast, snacks, lunch, snacks, and dinner. So a, a day, a typical day, or what I will try to eat on the day to keep my protein intake and stuff like that. So things, all those kind of things I'm still learning. So um, I just added um, a few notes in there in doodle mode, and then also have a meal plan that I print out from, from the internet. So yeah. That's that and then I did the same thing for workouts I have um, a, a plan for the month uh, in terms of what to do each day on each session um, I haven't tried them all because some of them are more running for example or um, for cardio and things like that and I since switched to only weight training um, not only weight training but I have been walking just uh, for example, walking my dog, I have been trying to make that an hour a day, so 30 minutes in the morning, 30 in the afternoon, and that's pretty much it in terms of cardio. Um, and everything else that I wanted to focus on is just weight training. So <clears throat> I do have to update that one and just make it weight, um, weight training focus and see how that goes. So I'll, I might print a new one for May, but we are still on the last week of April, so no rush there. Um, and then, what else? I have been tracking my workouts in here, the days that I am working out, and stuff like that. So. Anyways, that's, that's what's happening in here. In terms of the weeks, um, I did have, I think I've released a few videos about this one already. So let's just do a recap, sort of. So I did update it, this cover. Um, I just wanted to add something, um, something fun-ish. Um, so I did uh, anime sort of AIs in there. I don't know if you can tell those, but those are so cute. And I wrote um, in love with every piece of me just because... Um, I want to acknowledge that as a human, you have your good days and then you have your not so good days. So, and it's part of being human and that makes me unique in me and I love that. So anyways, just that, just to make it fun. And then this page, I've been using that for traveling. So the days that we move, for example, um, if we are moving for a few weeks to a, a campsite, for example, I am coloring it with a different color and I'm writing the, the place that, that we're going to. I might blurry this just in case. But um, but yeah, I'm just using color codes for the campsites that we are visiting and how long we're staying. That, just to kind of have a visual throughout the year. I think it'll be kind of fun to see at the end of the year where we have been. And I'm thinking I'm going to go back and do the same thing for 2023 and see how that looks. So um, yeah. And then here I'm just tracking uh, as normal my days of the month and um, any due dates that are coming up. I'm thinking about also tracking medication and uh, medical appointments. So that's what's going on in here. Not too, nothing too exciting, I guess. And then for my monthlies, this is a spring start. So I started on April and uh, March actually. So I started using this, I think at the end of March because we were still in Japan at the beginning of March. So 
you can I, can, I guess you can tell that um, I started using it in, at the end of uh, March and again I went with my classic approach just writing down important things and important details that I want to remember about the month and that's pretty much it. Now this month I did went a little bit more into details about things that I was doing because we did have a few things we were moving on first and um, also um, uh, other things were happening as well throughout the, the few weeks of the of the month. Now this week, um, the last week of the month, <clears throat> I'm kind of getting ready to go back to my school semester and um, I'm just trying to really relax so I can go in more relaxed and prepared. So we'll see how that goes. And then I have my preset for the month of May, which I think I showed you already. So I will link that below in case you're interested and uh, on that kind of preset chat and stuff like that. So I have my monthly presets in here. Nothing, nothing already planned because I do that off camera. So I do have to do that. And then I don't necessarily uh, set up anything too in advance in case I want to switch things around. And then for my weeklies, this is what's happening. Let's see. So I got my vision in here, which I have to kind of come back to often. So I might do like a tab or something to it. I do have to, at some point, come back here and update these few weeks that I was not here. Just, just to kind of have information, at least the most important things that I want to remember. Um, and then this is the first week that I got in here and I was planning in here more fully. So this is my classic, I think this is like my, my go-to setup where I have my product, my um, focus or um, goals, I guess, or intentions for today or appointments. Important is most important thing, priorities, as a word. Priorities for today. And then I got my trackers, I got my meals, and then I have a space for notes. I think I like this approach because it has everything in one place and it works. The same kind of approach here, just a little bit differently um, sized. So this is bigger here for my meals, this one's smaller. And then in here I added an Alistair method sort of list of things that I wanted to accomplish. Same thing here, I think these two are the same, just differently sized again. So right here I left a lot of space. So after the fact, since I didn't use all of it, I just added a quote there. And then here I made it shorter and, uh, and then left um, more space for my notes. But everything else is the same. So I got my priorities, my trackers, meals, to do's and notes same thing here actually no this one's a little bit different so here i have my priorities and then tasks for either related to those priorities or other things that i wanted to get done on that day so um it's pretty much the same ish like this instead of having tasks separate as an alistair method i just went ahead and add them to the days that i wanted to get them done so priorities things that i needed to for sure get done on that specific day and these are the actually no uh, i update the status on the site and then this column right here for the updates is for the tasks so the, ta the tasks are things that could be moved or replaced or cancelled and that's on the tasks and then i added a portion here for the weather the meals and I got my trackers. So I got my sleep tracker, my energy tracker, my habits tracker, and then notes. I like the, the idea of this one. I just think uh, if I try it again, it's going to be a little bit different. I just don't like the, the way it looks, the aesthetic of it. But I do like that it has most of the information, the important things that I want to track and um, keep, um, what you call it, a, um, keep in mind, I guess, throughout the month. And I think I forgot to put this back in one month. I believe. Um, yeah. So then this one is this current week. So we are still in, uh, we have one more week of April. I just wanted to do this with her beforehand because I know that um, once we get closer to May, it's gonna be a little bit more hectic to get to this. But, um, but so far, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna be setting up and using it almost the same in the month of May, we'll see. Um, but the, the setup for the weeks might change a little bit, like I've been tweaking in here and there, like I've been showing you. I think I won't try this setup again, I just want to do it, maybe maybe switch a few things. So again, on this one is, I have my column here for the status of the item. I got my things that I want to complete this week, so there was no priorities and tasks and to-dos. It was just an open space for anything that I wanted to accomplish that day. It's just written down in here, and then I updated the status of it on the left. And then here I got my habits, as you can see, my habits right there. And then sleep, it's the only thing I was tracking this month um, with the idea that I wanted to sleep more. So I guess it, that's a good trend, so that's good. And then my yeah, habits, sleep, and then my Alistair method, so all the things that I wanted to get done. And as you can see, there's only one thing that I got done. 
in the notes so not many notes this week so just have like a little space there with reminders truly that's not necessarily notes just reminders of things that I wanted to get and then I have to go ahead and set my next week but that's pretty much what's going on in here so I'm just gonna do this again I'm gonna add my page markers there so this one is more of uh, the ones that I use to like track doctor appointments medication refills and stuff like that it's cool it goes in here because I can refer back to it if I need to like if I want to remember when was the last time that we went to the dentist I will go to that one and check that out um, this one is my combo planner and uh, the compact version in TN size TN1 I believe it's called um, and uh, yeah, I started, I've been using this one for everything. So it's been my companion for my master planner when I was in the Wimbledon to the two. Then it was my one and only while we were in Japan. I love that period of this planner. Um, and then now it's my content planner. So a lot going on in this one. Um, there's a few things that I think I want to keep from this planner. Like for example, my notes of when we were in Japan. I have those kind of clicked in together there just to kind of remember so I have a few stamps that I collected on stations and pictures of places we went and just jetted down a few things that we did throughout our vacation there um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna keep that in one way or another maybe I'll just rip them and keep them in there I just scan them I don't know I don't know how I'll do it but I have it there and uh, so anyways let's see I have a pocket here that I got from like, the travelers company factory and uh, I have a set of three like it comes three in a pack and I have used one I don't know where to put the other two but um, I'm like I'm liking that it holds very well to the fabric of the cover so yeah I'm holding here some stickers that I'm planning on using for um, plan setup in the month of um, May I think actually I did set up May but maybe for like notes and stuff and then I have my pocket here for card holders there's a big one here that I have nothing and then the planner and then there's nothing really else in here besides the planner and the pockets so yeah so here i have my inbox meaning like it's just a holder for sticky notes my vision board um the goals set up that i have to continue i did start it i've been focusing really really on my self-care so i um yeah really focusing on that so, uh, and then here I was tracking everything, like I said before, this was my catch-all, then my one and only, and now my content planner, so it has, I have switched the trackers, but, um, so there's a little bit of everything right now, I'm just focusing on work for now, for this quarter, so I have to come back in here and update this. Yeah, and, um, uh, so that's the trackers, and what else? So this is the December, I just actually came back here and added important information to remember I was not in this planner on December, I think I moved there on January, so I just kind of back planned what I wanted to remember from December in here. This is January, just as you can see, very messy and really, really planning things that I wanted to have in here. And I think this is one of my favorites. Uh, February and March in here were perfect because, again, this was my one and only planner in uh, while we were in Japan. So everything was in here, and I loved, I love that. I love that approach. I love having everything in one place. It's just a little bit complicated to find specific information unless I have it specifically color coded, like very clearly. Otherwise, it's a little bit complicated to kind of read through all of this and find information, which is what always push me into separating things so yeah but yeah as far as aesthetically how it looks it looks used and full so I like that this is March and then April I went back to content planning only in here or work planning for yeah media planning I guess um, and that's what I have in here so as you can see it's very different from this but yeah and then for May this is my setup there's no information in here just yet I just have to do that off camera but that's, this is the setup so I'll have focus in here to do I will just add a word for the month in here, the days that I'm going to be releasing videos on the channel, notes section, and then intentions down here, like what I want this month to look like in terms of my work or business or media and stuff like that. All that to me, it's the same thing. So that's that. And then again, I don't do the presets for the month ahead of time, which too much ahead of time because then things can change and I don't like to change that. So uh, this is the first week here, um, what's this? January, yeah, January first week of January so not too fun it's just very basic and I was just truly just copying things that I had in my Wonderland to do just to kind of have a summary here 
this week I dropped the ball and I think this one too and then this one is when I came back in here and I started using this one more as my one and only to test it out and see if I could if I liked it and if I could use it in what we were in Japan and it worked perfect I think this is one of my favorite spreads out of all of my planners so yeah that's that and then this is uh, how I used it while we were in Japan. I just kind of use it as a planner but also a memory keeping for like little journal entries. So here I'm planning things that I wanted to do in um, my trackers, still tracking my sleep and my energy and my mood and stuff like that. And then here I just added the days of the week and at the end of the day I would just jet down something. Since this is a compact version it doesn't have daily pages. I did start using it anyways as a daily sort of entry in the back but then I realized I was writing a lot so I was gonna run out of pages anyways so I started doing this and I like this I like how it looks I did this for a few well two weeks this is the following week and then here we go this is me attempting that that week that I showed you that I loved this one so I attempted it again here but then I didn't have a lot of things to do so it doesn't look the same and then this is another week on Japan love how this looks here again I just left the entire page for notes but as you can see I didn't have that many notes and then here I was already back home and using this for content planning so this is just more reflecting and pre-planning and brainstorming ideas same thing here and then here I started using it as an hourly plan so I have a video on this a separate video I will link below in case you're interested but technically what I'm doing is just pre-planning my hours on each day to make sure that I am staying accountable and productive so I have been trying that for a few weeks now and I'm sure slowly getting into that habit of making sure that I'm staying um, focused I guess on, on one task at a time and I'm um, doing what I said I was going to do from certain time to you know from certain hour I guess or for a certain time of the day just to make sure that at least I get the most important things done so that's that. I do have to set up this next week and I'm thinking I'm going to do something separate or uh, similar to this but I'm going to be using color coding for time blocking and see how that goes. It's going to be, again, this is like a testing sort of period. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll share that with you in a separate video as well. So these are the weeks and then we get to the notes pages in the back. I have to update my index. I do have an index there and I like to have that. I don't refer it often but I think it's a good idea to have it just two blank pages in case I needed them for something else which I have no idea what I'm using for but yeah content planning so I've been doing this sort of quarter overview where I have the monthlies written down like this so the day and the, the day of the the month and then the week the day of the week and then I'll just plug in the title of the video that I want to release or would like to that I would like to release or that is has been already released so what I'll do is with pencil I will write down um, the one that I am planning on releasing and then I'll just go back and pen and actually write down the one that I did release so yeah and then I'm marking the ones that I have um, more out uh, better response I guess from audience I'm kind of getting back to it for the entire month of of um, February and March not the entire month but most of it as you can see it's blank I didn't really release a lot of things so coming back in April or at the end of March it was it's like restarting so yeah um, so do not do that if you're if you're trying to stay consistent just don't just have something to post in and at least you keep the the, move, the flow I guess so that's that that's how I'm, how I'm doing it I'm thinking I'm gonna do the same setup before the next quarter and use that in the same manner because I, I think I find it um, easy to use and helpful um, and then I did another spread here for titles or, or topics that I would like to talk about at some point. Maybe some of them, like like I have marked in here, I have either um, re filmed but decided not to release, or the ones that are blanked. It's I, I didn't do anything with them. There's some notes in here, just just notes about topics and things like and things like that. And then the, here is when I started my time blocking not time blocking it's hourly planning in my case i guess in this in this particular approach it's more hourly planning so i went in and i and i started tracking what i was doing throughout the day and then color coding it to see what i was doing the most and where i was spending my time and i did that for a week here and then i moved to the weeklies like i showed you in here and started doing it this way so that's that. These are just notes about um, topics and content that I would like to research and learn more about. And then I have just a few more pages here in the back. Um, so yeah. And my pen testing, as always, and that's pretty much it. It brings me, to, it brings me to the end of this one. Again, this one is more like, not necessarily serious. It's more content and business 
focused, I guess. Um, yeah, media, social media, and stuff like that. So that's fine. I'll show you those two. Let me see where I can put this. And then I think this is my favorite of all. I'm pretty sure you already know that. And um, yeah, I have a few things here that I set up. Um, I don't know that I showed you yet. Still have it under um, without a cover. I was thinking about adding a clear cover to it, but um, I don't know. I just kind of like it like this. So it's been like that for about two months now. So it's um, holding up pretty good. I have this um, portion here, the cardstock sort of beginning of the planner as my sticky note holder just because it's sturdier than the actual page and uh and yeah so anything anytime i need a sticky note right there so something that i do on all my planners i always have sticky notes at the beginning or at the end of it so i can have them accessible so this one is um a different one uh, a different approach to the yearly um usually i don't use this but i wanted to give it some purpose this time around so what i did i decided to use this one to um, track the area that i'm focusing on on that specific month so for example on April I've been focusing on my health care or self-care more workouts and uh, all that stuff so be more active so that is what I did here this is the key color I'm using colors to coat it so the dark pink it's staying active or self-care like workouts and then um, the lighter pink it's just I, I was active but it's not necessarily a workout routine so sometimes if I just walk for a walk during the day um, yeah that, that'll be some kind of activity so that's what I'm tracking in here and, uh, and then if I do switch to something else, let's say that on May I'm going to be focusing on finances, then I might use green, for example, like for money, and I will write finances and then I will uh, track it in here and just kind of dot jet down or, or color the days that I was um, either no spend, for example, or I saved or uh, something like that. So that's, that's an idea anyways. Um, and then here on this yearly overview, since this is not necessarily my planner, this is more of a fun sort of planning pages. Just here goes everything, whatever it is that I am planning to do um, or thinking about or whatever brainstorming, uh, it goes in here. So um, I decided to use this page as my, my word of the day, sort of, or like the word that I can summarize my day. So I've been writing a few things. So creative, in control, intuitive, relaxed, hopeful, and, go, and like that. So every day um, or every few, few days, if I forget, it's fine. I can come back and just go through my day and see how it went. And I just use um, one word to describe that day. So that's what I'll be using in here. Just the plan for the rest of it. We'll see. For December, I'm not planning on pre, uh, what you call, uh, back plan or something like that in here of December so I'm thinking I'm gonna cover the entire thing with pictures sort of like a vision board but more fun and that will include anything and everything um, and January I was thinking about coming back in here and adding a few things that we did in January just like I've been doing here it's just not necessarily planning just important things that happen like when we traveled I noted down that when we um, checked in into our Airbnb and things like that so things to remember um, here, this month, um, I've been doing unintentions sort of for my day. So, uh, for example, here, I said, today I'm focused on what matters and apply what I know to see progress and results. So, this is like the intention for today. Did it work? I don't know. We'll see. But, or is it working? I, I don't know yet. But that's that's the approach that I'm doing. And I like how it looks. It looks full. It looks used. And yeah. So that's that. And then for the weeklies, I've been doing this, which is the same approach that I've been doing since I started on this book. I just go in here and add uh, an entry in the morning and uh, continue to come back here, here throughout the day and just add more things that we're doing and use stickers and doodles to kind of highlight different things. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this week. I like this week. And these are just doodles, no stickers in here, um, just because I didn't feel like going through my stickers. but. Sometimes I do kind of do a mix of stickers and doodles, and yeah, that's how I'm using my weeks. And then for the days, I started on at the end of March, no, February, end of February. So I started the same thing. I showed you this before. This is how I used to use it with my to-dos, my habit tracking, and my journal entries for the day. But then I decided that I was not going to add any to-dos or anything like that in here, so... This is what how it's been going so far, and I like that that approach because it's relaxed, fun, and yeah, creative. So journal and doodles about what we are doing throughout the day. That's pretty much it. So in here we can just flip through these because they're gonna be about the same. The only difference that you will notice is how it's arranged. So sometimes sometimes it's divided in the middle, something like this. Then sometimes it's just smaller on the left and larger on the right. 
just like here. And then some other weeks are or days are like these and three columns so I can have more space to write. I think lately I've been using this approach where I just I started dividing the page and then I got tired and now I'll just eye it out but basically what I'm doing is just um, actually counting from three three squares four so one two three and four and then that's my middle section so. and then we get here to April where I the first page I used it to um, write down like my intentions or focus for the month so I did a, an entry here like a journal intentions for the month areas that I wanted to focus on and the idea is that I will come back in here at the end of the month and reflect about how it went and here we get to the end of it so not much, a lot, not a lot, I guess, to, to show you here. It's been a month, so there's a lot more to go here. I still have, this is a spring start, so it just started. So yeah, I might hold on to do another flip through once we have a few months in and see how it has evolved. But yeah, and then at the back here, I have a few notes of things that I want to do. I know that I want to cover these with um, some information. Then I have... Um, the other two pages and then I have my ideal week I used this to, to kind of I don't know just kind of brainstorm about what I would like to focus on on a daily basis and for how long and um, yeah that's that's that I'm loving this page in here I don't I have no idea what to use this for yet so still there but this one I like how it's turning out and I'm thinking I'm gonna continue the same approach throughout because I would love to see how it looks at the end so what I'm doing is just um, just writing down what we did like the most important thing like the highlight of the month and um, just kind of highlighting it and uh, alternating spaces so it can look more aesthetically pleasing and yeah and uh, and here I started adding a few things that I wanted to do and I started really with the things that I already did while we were in Japan so I checked those out and then as I have been adding a few more and uh, that's the idea just to kind of continue to um, add more stuff and I just title it the little steps that count so little things like drinking more water walking more sleeping more you know things like that I do want to update that page and I haven't really done anything else other than just back here testing my paint my pens and stuff like that but yeah and that's pretty much it I don't think I have anything else well I have this one that um I still kind of struggling to get used to it's just yeah since I do write a lot in my cousin I don't necessarily find myself with the energy to come back here and add more or duplicate that information I have started it um, and every now and then I just open it and try to see how much I can write and uh, if I feel like writing this is what I do I just come back here and add whatever it is that we did that day or how I was feeling or for example what you saw me when we started this video I was updating what we did yesterday so yesterday we got a paddle board which is something that I liked doing I like kayaking but um, the paddleboard seemed like a good option for both, either kayaking-ish or paddleboarding, like actually staying and sending up. And I think that's that's going to be a good sport to add to my uh, outdoorsy sort of life. Um, the kids have been enjoying fishing or learning to fish. They haven't fished anything, but a little turtle did ca got caught up on the hook yesterday, which is was sad. I do not like that, but we were able to free it, and hopefully, it is safe so I just wrote about that and yeah I have been the last time I was here was on the 13th and yesterday was the 20th so as you can see there's a few days here that I'm missing I might go back to it and, and update them uh, but I don't I'm not pressuring myself to do it because I don't want to feel like uh, it's something that I have to do I want it to feel like something that I want to do so yeah that's what's going on in there and then finally my bullet journal which is a fun project that I am working on just to just for fun I don't want to make it again nothing too serious or something that I have to do I just I just really want to keep it fun and um, and just whatever I think 
I want to add in here goes. So this is an Exceed notebook that I got from Walmart. It is truly one of my favorite notebooks. And uh, this is the one that I used to use as my bullet journal, my one and only planner for years. And uh, it's super affordable. I actually went up in price a little, but it's good. And the pages are, the paper is good. And you can use markers, you can use paint, whatever it is that you want. So it's good. So as always, I have my sticky notes stash in the front. This time I decided to add my name and a picture of me. And maybe I can switch this around every now and then, but for now I'm just gonna leave it there. I used the very first awkward page that we have attached to this cardstock to create a pocket here. So I have, the idea is to collect stuff in here. So I have a sticker there. Um, and then I have here an area for the keys, which I have no idea what to add here for keys. I already used this, know my symbols, I don't have to write them down, but maybe I'll add um, colors and stuff like that to just to kind of have something in here. Then I added a section for intentions. So meaning like I'm gonna use the entire space for journal, not journal, but write down the intentions for this notebook and just to kind of have a, a place to um, remind myself what the intentions are or the purpose of this notebook is. Then I have here uh, sort of like a brain dump sort of spread, but I called it to remember or remember. So future things that I want to add somewhere, but I don't know where to add them on the notebook yet. I'll add them here and then pull from here and allocate them where they belong. Here I have a theme ideas. This is not my original idea. I got it from um, this girl that has a planner channel. I will add her link below or her name below, I forgot. But um, but yeah, this is one of the spreads that she shared and I thought it was clever. So um, I did add it the doodles that I like it. Some of them are her hers. So this one's hers and this one and this one. And then the other ones are mine. So yeah, so it's, it's sort of like a theme whenever I want to set up a spread and I have no idea what to theme go for maybe I can use this as a reference then here I have my washi collection it looks messy and messed up but yeah I just grabbed a few pieces of the washi that I have and added a piece here and wrote down where I got it just to remember plants um, I have just four I'm not very good in plants uh, with plants but I have had this one for 18 years now it's actually much smaller than this because I've been taking out little pieces and putting them somewhere else to plant them separate um, but I do want to do something so it can get bigger again like it was I have this one and this one and that one this one does not look like this either it has like three leaves but I want it to look like this so I have to work on it and my palm tree so yeah just and the idea is to write down the name of the plant and the care for it so that's the idea a tracker for our home and our cars so when did I last um, change oil, um, the tires, and things like that. So just to kind of have a place for it. Visual tracking. I want this to be like my year tracking, my yearly tracking. So, but I don't know what to track in here just yet. So I was thinking, for example, sleep and mood or energy, things like that. But just to kind of see an overview at the end of the year. But I don't know yet. So um, yeah, I just have the trackers that just don't know what to track for now. Here I added a seasons bucket list. So. Uh, things that I want to accomplish or do uh, throughout the seasons. So spring, what I want to do while in spring, summer, fall, and winter. So the idea is to come over here and either add a list of things or doodles of things that I want to do. And then here, this page, I thought it was a complimentary page for it, for the um, book list, is uh, things that I want to learn or get better at. So uh, doodling, for example, is something that I like doing. I can always learn and get better at it. So that's something I can write in here. That's the idea for that. Entertaining, uh, entertainment. So just things that I want to watch, movies, st um, series, and books that I want to read. And yeah, so I will leave those in here. I created these stush doors in here, but I have no clue what to use them for. So I just left them alone and and put the notebook aside because when I'm feeling like I want to do something in it, but I'm not feeling inspired and creative, I tend to not like it when I get it done. So yeah, I just left it alone and I'll come back to it when I feel like it. So that's that's the beauty of this sort of setup. It's not necessarily something that I have to keep up with. It's just whenever I feel um, like using it, that's when I reach for it. So that's beauty. Uh, that's really it. The only other thing is my little notebook, which you have seen before. This one is the one that I bring with me on my purse to write down notes and things like that. I used it however, however, I use it however I want. Um, sometimes I feel like I need to focus on certain things throughout the day. So this is the one that I use and I put everything else away. Um, some of the times I just want to remember things that we did so I can plug them in 
we did wrong. For example, the first day in Japan, what did we do? What do we needed to get and stuff like that? That's where I wrote down things and um, things uh, that I want to shop for, things that I want to do or ideas. It's just anything, really, anything that I want. Even meal planning, it's in here. So yeah. So this is very random. It's just a place for me to write down notes when I'm out and about, and or when I want to like focus on my to do's and that's it so yeah that's what's going on in my notebooks and my things um yeah i think i could leave it here i don't have anything else to add for now um i might do a flip through like this i don't know maybe a month or two from now and see how things have changed but for now it's working i know i have it looks like it's a lot but I have a system, I guess, so it works. So anyways, I hope that you have found this video entertaining and helpful and inspiring in some way. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.